One of the important things that's, that's become known about type 1 diabetes over the past um, 20 years or so is that, in fact, it's possible for us to identify people uh, before they actually develop type 1 diabetes using a test for antibodies to the insulin producing cells. So what's been done is that um, close relatives of people with type 1 diabetes have had a blood test and we can actually find these antibodies in their blood and when we follow those people we find that, that depending on the, the number of antibodies and the level of antibodies, they can have up to a 50% chance of progressing onto diabetes uh, over the next five years. So this is a preclinical type 1 diabetes. So that raises the possibility of being able to do something to, to prevent type 1 diabetes and um, there have been a number of studies that have been done by large um, collaborative groups. The, the, the one that's underway in Australia and New Zealand at the moment is called um, INNIT2 or the Type 1 Diabetes Prevention Trial and in that trial we're testing the blood of, of first degree relatives of people with type 1 diabetes, identifying people who are antibody positive, who have these antibodies in their blood but don't have diabetes and those people are being treated in a trial with um, intranasal insulin. So why intranasal insulin? Well, so when actually the insulin is being used not to, to deliver insulin into the blood to control the blood glucose, but as an immune system, uh, trying to actually trick the immune system. So insulin is one of the targets of the immune system in type 1 diabetes. And by giving insulin to the mucosal surface, su surface which is the inside of the nose, we, a previous study has really shown that we can alter the immune response. So the, the, the INNIT2 trial, which is, is running now, is, uh, is, is a, a properly powered trial to see if that can actually, that treatment with intranasal insulin can actually stop people progressing onto type 1 diabetes. So it's, it's going to, in, it, it's involved testing um, over, over 10,000 relatives for the, the test and the people who are positive are being treated at a number of centres around Australia and New Zealand and one centre in Germany um, and are being followed to see whether they develop diabetes. So it's a very exciting trial and it's Australia and New Zealand so um, we really want everybody in Australia um, and New Zealand to get behind it. These things take a long time so we, we still haven't finished the clinical part of the trial. We've enrolled about 80 of the 110 people who need to be uh, included in the trial so and then those people have to be followed for, for a period so we're, we're at least three or four years off the final results but um, but you know these things as I say these things take time and to do them properly this is uh, the way they have to be done so um, so the, um, the, that'll that'll it, we can promise you that we will know the answer to this question um, in the relatively near future.